They're not only occupying space, the protesters at Wall Street are also blocking businesses and clogging the legal system, too. So, are the Occupy Wall Street folks really just trying to shut down the economy? Fox News legal analyst Peter Johnson Jr. is here with some thoughts. Peter. Well, obviously, Oakland proves that, in fact, that they are. The, the general strike, which is outlawed by the Taft-Hartley Act in the United States, is really the calling card of anarchists, uh, socialists, um, and the most extreme part of American and, and, and world labor. And so we've seen this before. We saw it in 1946 in Oakland. We saw it in 1919 back in Seattle uh, after the um, uh, uh, Sacco and Vanzetti, the, the anarchists, uh, came to light. We saw it in France in 1968. In May of 1968, a general strike brought France to its knees. Eleven million workers stopped working. So this is social revolution of the world. This is end capitalism. This is incredible where you say, we're going to blockade the fifth largest port mm -hmm. in the United States and yes. say that it's acceptable. That's an acceptable act to block a port. This is not a strike. I'm okay with strikes. If someone wants to strike their workplace, that's fine. But block a port? P that different, different story. You pointed that out yesterday. Listen, take a look at this full screen right here, right here. Costing big bucks. It costs nationally so far eight and a half million dollars plus. They're clogging up courts. Approximately two thousand arrests nationally, and they're hurting small businesses, hundreds of restaurants, shops, and workers affected. Yeah, I, I don't believe those numbers. That's just the tip of the iceberg. When you have two hundred folks, longshoremen, who can't go to their shift because three or four thousand people have marched through Oakland and said, we're not going to allow you to go to work, we're going to shut down the means of commerce and production, that is an alarming event in America. And so when you say, well, folks are dissatisfied, it's more than dissatisfied when it moves towards that kind of event. And when you hear broadcasters, and I was watching television the other night, I saw one person talk about this as if it was a nostalgic reverie, looking back at what had happened in Oakland in 1946, as if they were summer uh, camp movies, or it was a Thanksgiving reunion, and say, God, this is in in incredible. Boy, this is the American spirit. The American spirit is to build. The American spirit is not to shut down. The American spirit is to create. The American spirit is not to block. And so when you say, we're going to shut down banks, we're going to break windows, mm -hmm. we're going to be subject to tear gas and, and flash grenades, that's not the America it's that we American know. Way, right, and so we've got to be looking hard at this and see where it's going. All right, Peter Have a Johnson, good weekend, thank Eric. you so much. How about Occupy a Job? How about Occupy Reality? Idea. All right, thank you very much, Peter. Okay. All right.